is absolutely crucial, it is of the most reverent importance that my dog be trained around children. I want my dog to be able to be around children without feeling overwhelmed. So what I do is I take the dog to places where there are children. Depending on what age they are, I will ask the children to ignore the dog. I will ask the children to maintain a fair amount of distance if I can. If I cannot, I will move the dog around, lure the dog away from the children, and I will use that as a cue that the dog will get the reward. So there are always things that you can do whenever you're in those situations, but all of that is to the benefit of the dog, is to the benefit of teaching the dog how to interact. People are always so surprised to find out that the dog is playful. People assume that just because she's uh, a shepherd, because she's a Malinois, she's automatically aggressive, reactive. You know, they ask questions like, will she bite? You know. Uh, is she dangerous? Can we pet her? Things like that. So there's a fair amount of education that goes into that, changing the mindset of the public, changing the, the mindset of the masses, making sure that people understand that just because a dog is a certain breed, it doesn't equate to an aggressive dog. It doesn't equate to a reactive dog. There are many great dog owners out in the world. There are many people out there teaching their dogs, socializing their dogs, trying to work on making their dogs better. So it is great to have a world of understanding where people can see a dog and ignore the dog because that helps the dog. There needs to be a collective understanding that it is helpful to the dog if we ignore the dog. It is helpful to the dog if we maintain a fair amount of distance, if we teach the dog to maintain neutrality. And a lot of people don't know that. You know, everyone thinks, oh, it's a cute dog, let me go pet the dog. They ask you questions, they want to touch the dog, they want to cuddle with the dog, they want to interact with the dog. Dogs are cute, I get it. But we're, as a community, trying to teach the dog how to engage with the community, how to engage out in public, how to, how to be the best possible dog they can be. There's a fair amount of education involved with that. People need to know when you see a dog out in public, really you should ignore the dog. But if you really want to interact, ask the owner. The owner is right there. If the owner is right there next to you, and the owner is right there next to the dog, why would you go directly to the dog? What sense does that make? One of my biggest pet peeves is when people see me sitting here with my dog, and then they just immediately come to interact with the dog, or they start going, or they start whistling at the dog, like, why would you even, con why would you think that's okay? Do you want my dog to come to you? Are you trying to call my dog to you right now? We're out in a public place, you think my dog should leave me and come, like, why are you whistling at my dog? I find that the whistling is probably one of the most annoying things to me. I don't know why people do it. I don't know what sense they think it makes. My other pet peeve is when people see a dog in a car and they think that they need to communicate to the dog somehow. Like, do you want my dog to jump over the window and come say hello to you? Like, what is the, what's the goal with that? Why are you interacting with that dog? It makes no sense. But this is something that people do. And, you know, sometimes you just have to, you have to try to educate. You have to educate with kindness. You have to educate with patience because Honestly, people just don't know. People just think these things are okay. So, what are you gonna do? Capri is excited. <laughs> it's okay. Good. Capri, come here. Alright. All of this distraction is to teach you to maintain focus. Good. So I've got to hang this over her head so she understands that the moment right there when she looks back. Yes! I'm going to reward her for it. So trying to teach her what eye contact means and how she gets her reward. So sit. Good. So eye contact. Good. Good. And as long as she's maintaining it, we're not going to say anything else. We're just going to keep marking. Good. Okay. And reward. So it's going to teach her very quickly that maintaining the eye contact is the way she gets the reward. So right there. Yes. So when she looks away, she looks back. Sit. It's okay. She looks away. Good. So now she's invested. You're invested, aren't you? Okay. There we go. Heel. Good. Good. Down. Good. Center. Good. Let's go. Good. Down. Good. Good. 
Good, this way. Good, girl. Here. Let's heal. Good, down. Good. Good. Yes. Good, leave it. Good, girl. Let's heal. Good. Yes. Here. Down. Good. Center. Good. Here. Down. Good. Center. Good. Down. Good. Heel. Good. Down. Good. Center. Good. Down. Good. Here. Here. Good. Down. Good. It's a dog show. <laughs> All right, well, you guys can watch, but you can't interact with the dog, okay? All right, sit. Good. Down. Good. Sit. Good. Center. Good. Back up. Back up. Back up. Let's go around, you guys. Back up. Back up. Back up. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. Back up. Good. Let's heal. Good. Down. Good, girl. All right, over. See, when she, when she jumps, now she's looking for her reward. There you go. Good girl. Alright, I need to go get her something to drink, huh? What do you think? Let go. Sit. Good. Hold. Oh. See, that's why you can't put your, you can't put your hands anywhere close to her because she's, hello. <laughs> she's, the kids are learning about dog etiquette. <laughs> she's, uh, uh, half German Shepherd, half uh, Malinois, Belgian Malinois. Yeah, she's uh, two years old now. Yeah. So I tried to bring her to train in chaotic situations. She's focused. Yeah. So I do this ball, she doesn't get to see it any other way except when we're out in public. So it makes it obviously special. So in any situation that I that I can that she might possibly be confused or whatnot, as long as I have this, she will stay focused with me. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Center. Good. Yeah, that's the sixty-one, sixty-one point five. If you want to be specific, currently. <laughs> she's the she's she's uh. She's gained a, a bit more weight. She was a lot thinner. I mean, she's quite thin, but she was a lot thinner. Yeah, it's just I. It used to be hard to be able to pick her up, but she's definitely like a baby. <laughs> so yeah, when people when people see dogs like this, obviously because of the police dogs and whatnot, they just assume the dog is an attack dog or something. So they're always so wary. So I try to, I try to like show that she's really a, quite playful. All right, I know you were a bit overwhelmed. You were a bit overwhelmed with all of those kids. We gotta come back here. We've gotta, we gotta reset. There we go. Good girl. All right, you ready? Here. <laughs> Sit. Here. Good. Reset. Woo! You're a good girl. Let's heal. Good. Let's spin. Back up. And there's more. Great.